Abby has to address the following topic. Um, alter findings at Rorini. Well, uh, you should lower your expectations since when it comes to alter, there's more thing that bother me, not to say annoy me, than uh, worry me. The third thing that bother me is noise or when the alter recording is not of good quality. On the left hand side, this is obvious that this awful record is just noise. But on the right hand side, someone not familiar with alter monitoring, alter recording might think of a board QRS arrhythmia. If you are used to see through the noise, you can guess that QRS complex is normal and QRS interval uh, is still present among the noises and it's not a uh, arrhythmia. Another type of noise is all those alter monitoring that you have been asked about. Uh, you can receive a lot of alter monitoring by mail. You haven't seen the patient. You don't know uh, what it is complained, if he has any. And you are requested to have an opinion on a uh, alter monitoring. This is a recent example. Um, this alter monitoring was made of, uh, because of a murmur. Uh, and the EKG uh, displays some T wave change on the 12 liter CG. He, he is 15 years old, he has no symptom, no history, and indeed you can see some T wave change, P, P wave changes also. But the patient is asymptomatic, he doesn't complain of anything, he has a normal heart. Um, it took many resources uh, to do this exam and I think that the halter should have been done uh, uh, at the first time. But most of all is when halter monitoring is misused for symptoms such as uh, chest pain uh, that I am bothered with uh, halter monitoring. The yield of halter has been evaluated for pediatric patient and adult patient. For palp palpitation, the yield is poor and largely overcome by current uh, smartwatch that allow to uh, obtain one lead ECG. In the current European guidelines for syncope, the standard halter is not part of the initial evaluation. Implanted loop implanted alter or loop recorder are even preferred uh, to am ambulatory ECG. Still, alter can be informative when it records uh, supraventricular tachycardia. Here you have the substrate of the arrhythmia, which is initiated by a atrial premature contraction. The atrial premature contraction demonstrated the uh, dual AV nodal physiology, uh, which is a jump that uh, sometimes initiates an AV and RT and sometimes does not. In a very, in even rarer case, alter can be helpful in the diagnostic of syncope. This 15 years old girl was experimented pre-syncope while coughing. And you can see here a, a pause. Pauses uh, get repeated and get longer as uh, she was coughing. And by the end of the day, uh, she experimented a, a nine second pauses uh, while coughing. So the uh, syndrome of cough syncope, also called laryngus ectus, is rare but it can be diagnosis, diagnostic by a uh, alter monitoring. General pediatrician and even some pediatric cardiologists are not confident with PVC and will practice alter and then ask you your uh, advice. Um, should 
you be worried about asymptomatic, normal heart, no family history, but a high burden of uh, PVCs. Well, worried, no, if there's no, no symptom, but concern, yes. And we've been talking in previous session about indication for treatment or for uh, catheter ablation. Uh, if it just accelerated it, your ventricular rhythm in an infant, you should not even be cons concerned. It's really benign if you can see that the PVCs are uh, not present when the heart rate increases. Well, it's not the burden of uh, PVCs that, sh that should worry you. Uh, this is the uh, ultra monitoring uh, of a 24-year-old, 24-year-old guy who uh, survived a cardiac arrest, and you can see the very short coupling interval uh, of the PVCs. Here a, another example of a 20 years old female. Uh, she has history of surgical repair for. Uh, AV canal. Uh, she um, had a uh, dual chamber ICD for a sudden cardiac arrest, and as you can see on a on a, a holter monitoring, she has monomorphic PVC uh, from the artful tract. Uh, the coupling interval seems uh, quite fixed. Um, but even if the coupling interval stays stable, when the heart rate decreases, repolarization gets longer, and it's how uh, the uh, trouble starts. Um, and hopefully she had a, her ICD on already, and she was uh, she received an appropriate therapy. Uh, she had a at least a catheter ablation of her. Uh, supraventricular uh, of a uh, PVCs uh, and no appropriate therapy uh, seen. When you incidentally diagnose PVCs or no system VT on ultra monitoring uh, in the routine follow up of a, a cardiopathy, um, there's always some worries. It's not the same with normal heart, but when uh, a patient has a uh, congenital heart defect, it's quite different. non sustainability is a risk factor for sudden cardiac death in, sudden, in, in cardiac heart disease patients, uh, as shown uh, in uh, many publications. Paul Carey uh, work demonstrate that non sustainability on ultra was associated with a higher risk of appropriate ICD therapy. But does that mean those patients would have died before, uh, without an ICD? Uh, there's an old study from Cullen shows that um, there is no survival difference between uh, the group of fallow with or without complex ventricular arrhythmia. Ventricular arrhythmia on an ultra monitoring is also known to be a risk factor for sudden cardiac death in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, non-ischemic and ischemic cardiomyopathy. But board curesat arrhythmia, is it always ventricular arrhythmia? Is it a, an example of a, a 35 years old male? Uh, he has a history of surgical closure of uh, atrial septal defect and he complained of dyspnea while hiking. Uh, eco exercise stress tests was, were normal and he was um, he had a ultra monitoring and been a, and have been asked to to go uh, on a hike. And as you can see he, um, it been registered a regular arrhythmia. Uh, sometimes with narrow caress and sometimes with broad caress. Uh, you, the, he, he also has a few PVCs, uh, which are different from uh, broad caress uh, arrhythmia.
uh, this board QSL plays not ventricular, uh, you have here a, a Ashman phenomenon, uh, which is a, a aberrancy of conduction uh, of the ventricle as a result of a change of the QRS cycle length. In infant, you can have this very um, messy um, um, altar with uh, very irregular, sometimes narrow, sometimes board QRS, um, kind of AFib or flutter, and be uh, worried about this uh, altar monitoring. But most of, the, most of the time, the patient has a uh, structurally normal heart and doesn't complain much. And this is a typical multifocal ectopic tachycardia. Um, you shouldn't be worried about it. Uh, concern and uh, treat uh, with beta blocker if the mean heart rate is too high. Is it described in the literature that, um, and you also witness that the yield of uh, the altar is 10 times better if the resting ECG is pathological? Here, a long QT type, uh, long QT type 2 patient with TL turns who was put on an altar monitoring for these state changes. She has already a pacemaker implanted. Um, uh, and when you have such ECG, I'm not sure that ultra monitoring is a good choice. Indeed, as you can see here, the child experimented uh, torsade de pointe, and at one point, one point that torsade de pointe didn't start by itself. And the child experimented a uh, sudden death while on ultra monitoring. Another example is uh, this uh, three and a half years old boy with a, this um, Brugada syndrome. And the ultra monitoring displayed uh, flutter, uh, sinus dysfunction, uh, sexiness syndrome, uh, which is quite rare in a pediatric patient without uh, genetic variants. Uh, this is the uh, altar of a young boy who had a surgical, uh, surgical repair of um, septal defect, non redundant septal defect. Um, and he wasn't complaining much, but had a whole to monitoring that uh, showed episode of 2 to 1 AV block and nonsense narrow QRS tachycardia. Would you start antiarrhythmic drugs? Would you implant a pacemaker? Would you do both? Or would you do nothing uh, other than follow up? We uh, decided to do nothing since it was a postoperative juncturnal ectopy tachycardia, uh, not the dreadful one that compromises hemodynamic, but the non system one, one, not too uh, fast. And as you can see, at some time, the junctional ectopy beat was conducted to the ventricle with an atrioventricular dissociation, like. Uh, in the upper panel. Sometimes the juncturnal ectopy was conducted retrogradly to the atrium, but not to the ventricle. Sometimes it will depolarize the ventricle, but with an aberrancy, and sometimes the ectopy will be blocked towards the atrium and the ventricle and mimic a conduction defect. So, when it comes to alter, I am mostly bor borrowed um, than worried. In my, in my practice, alter monitoring is mostly used as reassurance tool by, my, by most of my colleagues. 
Um, it's rare, but sometimes you will catch a challenging, interesting, even dreadful recording. Uh, but if you use it as a reactions tool, uh, you should be able to uh, interpret it and read it correctly.